Please remain standing as Christine Daniela Lial, Senior Class Vice President, leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and Carlo Chase Vento, Senior Class Treasurer, leads us in the Pledge to the Texas Flag, followed by the National Anthem sung by Cameron Rene Contreras Esparza and Daniel Joel Borras, and the invocation led by Antonio Trad Abraham, Senior Class President. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, join, and now the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I ask that you please close your eyes, bow your heads, and join me in prayer. Our Father, how wonderful are the works of your hands as we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. We pray for this school, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. For our teachers, who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst. For our families, who have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day, especially, we thank you for, for the friends that we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love, which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Today, we also pray for tomorrow. This graduation opens another door to another time. As you have led in the past, lead now into the future. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, you may be seated.
Thank you, students. Good evening, Superintendent Dr. Lara, Board President Mr. Douglas Buchanan, Vice President Mr. Henry Levere, Secretary Dr. Silvia Sanch Sanchez Garza, members of the Board of Directors, Central Office Administration, parents, students, faculty, and staff. On behalf of the administration of South Texas ISD World Scholars, I extend a warm welcome to each of you to this year's World Scholars Class of 2021 Commencement Ceremony. It is truly an honor to be standing here amongst this great group of resilient individuals who never lost sight of their high school goals. I am very proud and impressed by all of your accomplishments. This year has certainly brought challenges upon all of us in one form or another. It has definitely been different and one like none other. But these students persevered through it all. They remained focused and determined to succeed. Their determination and resilience have made them that much stronger. Since tonight, we honor you. We celebrate the culmination of your high school successes. You have worked rigorously to arrive at this educational moment. Tonight, you are decorated with many different and significant honor cords, stoles, and medallions representing your accomplishments as leaders and scholars. As this is the end of one journey, it is also the beginning of new adventures to come. Remember, every new day is another chance to change your life, a chance for new, bigger, and better opportunities. Always give it your best. At this time, Dr. Lara will introduce our Board of Directors. Good evening, World Scholars graduating class of 2021, family members, board of directors, faculty and staff, and invited guests. As your superintendent of schools, I'm excited to be a part of your Walk of Honor celebration this evening, acknowledging all of your major accomplishments throughout your school years. Students, you've dealt with a global pandemic for a year and a half now. So I have no doubt that you're leaving our school ready to take on any challenge that life brings you. Students, this is just the beginning of a world of opportunity for each and every one of you. And we know that you will make us all very, very proud. So tonight we celebrate you, and we celebrate the love and support of your families, your friends, your teachers, and all who have helped you along the way. So I say to you, congratulations, well deserved. I'd like to take a moment to introduce to you a very important group of individuals that give of themselves to serve on our board of directors. We have a 24 member board of directors that works very closely together making sure that all of the resources and support that you need to be successful are there for you. I'd like to introduce the president of the board, Douglas E. Buchanan. Our vice president, Henry Levere. Our secretary, Dr. Silvia Sanchez Garza. Abiel J. Cantu, Dr. Martin Castillo, Sasha Crane, Javier Farias, Adrian Garcia. Margarita Garcia, 
Hector Gonzalez. Sylvia S. Lopez. Dr. Ricardo Ochoa. Eduardo Rodriguez. Natividad Sosa. David Torres. And Ruth Villarreal. Thank you, board members, for being with us this evening. I'd like to also introduce to you my administrative staff that works very closely with me and your campus leaders to make sure that we provide you all the things that you need uh, throughout your school years. Mr. Jeff Hembry, Deputy Director. Marla Kanab, Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Operations. Lisa Frausto, Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Efrain Garza, Executive Director for Student Services. Nadeida Trevino, Chief Academic Officer. And Amanda Odom, Administrator for Public Relations and Marketing. I'd like to now call on President of the Board, Douglas E. Buchanan, to bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Directors for the South Texas Independent School District. Thank you, Dr. Lada. Good evening. On behalf of the entire South Texas ISD School Board, I'd like to welcome you to tonight's 2021 <clears throat> World Scholars Graduation Ceremony. Normally, I would present annual data, facts, and rankings achieved by the campus and close by congratulating the graduates and their families. However, if you will indulge me, I'd like to welcome you in a little different manner much like this past year has been different due to the pandemic. With that being said, I'd like you all to please close your eyes and go on a short journey using your imagination. Now, imagine a beautiful grassy meadow with trees, wild flowers scattered about, and a babbling book as you take in the soft, warm breeze, you notice dozens of butterflies fluttering to and fro among the flowers. They dance around, much like a well-choreographed ballet. Then you realize it's their time to migrate. They must move on, leave where they have been, and begin their journey to, the un, to unknown locations. But then you stop and think, how did they get to this stage in their lives? How did they know what to do and when to do it? They began as a mere egg on the backside of a leaf and nothing more. They required shelter and protection to survive the elements. Then they transformed into a caterpillar and began exploring their environment. But they still needed shelter, protection, and now food. Next, they enclosed themselves in a cocoon. Here they began to develop as an individual, creating unique characteristics that would define them from all the rest preparing them for their future journey. They were ready now to take flight. They emerged from their safe haven in all their splendor and glory, fully prepared to deal with the challenges that lie ahead. Now, please open your eyes. Meet your butterfly, 
the graduates of 2021. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you for those inspiring words, Mr. Buchanan. At this time, we would like to recognize the following graduates. Would all distinguished graduates please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all cum laude graduates please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all magna cum laude graduates please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all summa cum laude graduates please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who are three-year graduates please rise at this time? Come in today. <laughs> Would all students who are IB Diploma candidates please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who are graduating with an associate's degree please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who will be graduating with dual college credit hours please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who have earned a professional certification please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who have completed their required volunteer hours please rise at this time? Thank you. Would all students who will be serving in the United States Armed Forces after graduation please rise at this time? Thank you. Students, all the mentioned recognitions are a true testament of your character, leadership, service, and will to go above and beyond. Congratulations to you. Now, with the proud parents of these fine students, please stand to be recognized. Parents, guardians, and extended family members, we congratulate you for the support, the encouragement, and the guidance you have provided. You are the foundation, the rock, upon which your son or daughter was able to reach this milestone. Thank you for your unwavering and endless support for these students. Their success is your success.
At this time, I would like to introduce our salutatorian for the class of 2021. Our salutatorian for the 2021 graduating class is Julia Elizabeth Rodriguez. Would the parents of our salutatorian Julia Elizabeth Rodriguez please stand? Thank you. Julia Rodriguez was born in McAllen, Texas on June 5th, 2003. She moved to Edinburgh, Texas when she was six years old and has remained there since. She is the daughter of Mrs. Tamara Rodriguez and Mr. Hector Rodriguez. Julia has been involved in several different extracurriculars, including World Scholars Mariachi, Student Ambassador, Holmes Cadet, Kickoff Mentor, martial arts, and she's a cyclist with a Corazon racing team. She is a member of the National Honor Society. Julia has been the editor-in-chief of the World Scholars Daily Roar newspaper for the past three years. At the age of nine, she founded Care Club Society, a group of volunteers who visit the elderly in nursing homes, and Julia continues that work as a senior. She is a National Merit Commended Scholar. Julia is an Edinburgh Rotary Scholarship recipient. Her IB Psychology class, in combination with the research she did for the Holmes Cadet Program, inspired her to pursue a career in psychology or cognitive neuroscience. This fall, Julia is going to attend Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. Congratulations, Julia. Thank you. Never know how strong you are until being strong is the only you have. As said by Bob Marley over 40 years ago, and it still rings true today. When COVID-19 was thrown at us, an economic crisis ensued, racial conflict grew, and life had never been so uncertain. Somos de Valle. La adversidad no es extranjera para nosotros. Somos fuertes. In midst of this unrest, World Scholar Seniors adapted to not just our new learning environment, but also our new global, political, social, and economic landscape. We adapted to learning from home. We adapted to communicating with our friends and distant family strictly through our cell phones. Some of us may have had to cope with loss, whether it was loss of a friend, family member, or job. Yet, we continued. We persevered and we prevailed. Because we are here today graduating, I hope I'm not the first person and I'm certainly not the last to tell you that we made it. For any other graduation, it would be a moment of finality. But today, for our graduation, it is a moment of relief and triumph. It is a moment for us to reflect on all that we have endured these past four years, some of the things unique to ourselves and some of the things unique to our generation. But most importantly, it is a moment for us to bask in our light. We can easily look back on these days and dwell on all that we have missed. 
but we shall look back on these days and rejoice in what we have accomplished. Now's the time to ask ourselves, how did we get here? When I was in elementary school, I envisioned high school as a place for parties, friends, independence, arguing with my parents, and learning new things. I had high expectations for high school. I'm sure we all thought it was going to be just like high school musical, and if not exactly like it, then at least with all the quintessential high school events. Perhaps high school wasn't going to be like a movie, but we'd hope we'd experience some snippets. Orientation, Valentine's Day dances, field trips, competitions, parties, prom. We dip our toes into the reality of high school our freshman year, in which we realized it was not going to be like a high school movie. But we also had hope that it could only get better from there. There was still hope. For a while, our hopes and dreams materialized. My sophomore year, my home's cadet teammates and I went to Kentucky for a national education conference. There have been countless UIL meets, many students coming home with ones and wins. BPA, TSA, UIL, and Taffy going to state, some even nationals. We had our dances sponsored by the lovely PSTO. We had fun and experienced unity while volunteering at the food bank or at Quinta Mazatlan. Our yearly field trips from the hot and chaotic zoo trip our freshman year to the last field trip of our high school career, visiting colleges in San Antonio. Perhaps it was not the exact vision of what high school was supposed to be or how we expected it to be, but it was ours. When COVID-19 hit our junior year, we were forced to deal with an abrupt disturbance in our lives, one that no counselor, teacher, parent, or other elder could coach us on. After looking up to our elders for so many years, seeing them struggle just as much as we were was alarming. We were confronted with the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, a period of racial conflict and social unrest, and a new era of fear for the well-being of our family and friends. Our expectations of high school were transformed into something else. Our hope for our senior movie snippets was dwindling. Our hope for prom, our hope for hosting the medieval fair, our hope for BPA, TSA, or UIL trips. Even our hope for just walking through those hallways with our friends our hope to return to the days before a deadly pathogen threatened our existence. After that day before spring break, some of us never came back, and those of us who did knew it was never going to be the same. Hope was hard to find, motivation even harder to grasp, but we knew that we were not alone. Our school is a little school with a big heart. Our teachers and staff were tested upon the emergence of COVID-19, and they rose to the occasion. Look around, people. Look at the teachers, administrators, and staff sitting here in this arena. These are the people who stuck with us. I think about Ms. Leo and Ms. Beglin offering to meet with us through Teams if we ever needed math help. I think about Dr. V, answering any emails or messages at all hours of the day. I think about Mr. Mata advocating for us and being accommodating of us through these troubling times. I think about Ms. Garza and Ms. Sarabia guiding us and keeping us on task while we were completing our extended essays and CAS experiences. I think about Ms. Marin getting us an extension from IB so we can turn in all of our internal assessments extended essays, and TOK essays. I think about all of my other amazing teachers, staff, and administrators who never gave up on us. In a moment of struggle, where teachers and staff 
could have easily abandoned us, the people in this arena showed their strength and stayed with us. When the world made graduating seem out of reach, our teachers, staff, and administration reminded us to stretch our arm further because they believed in us. Being strong was the only choice they had. Being strong was the only choice we had. And here we are today, triumphant, complete, wiser, and a million times stronger than we thought we ever were. I'd like to leave you with these final words. We are resilient, we are strong, we are lions. Somos de Valle. Thank you, Julia. I would now like to introduce our valedictorian for the class of 2021. Our valedictorian for the class of 2021 is John Richard Smith. Would the parents of our valedictorian John Richard Smith please stand? Thank you. John, Johnny Smith, is the son of Christy Allen Smith and Richard Smith. As a junior, he challenged the IB program and recently completed all the coursework and is anticipated receiving an IB diploma. Outside of his studies, John is technical director for Lion Talks, a kickoff mentor, new to campus camp lead mentor, and fourth year TSA officer. He has competed in various technology events such as web development and board game design and will be attending the 2021 TSA Nationals competition for parliamentary procedure with his team. John will be studying at the University of Texas at Austin and major in computer science with an emphasis on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ortiz, Superintendent Dr. Lada, STISD Board of Directors, World Scholars Administration and Faculty, student body, friends and family. It is my honor to address you tonight as your class of 2021 valedictorian. Dedication to doing my best is a virtue I have always believed in. It never crossed my mind that I would accept the highest ranking freshman award, and it was never a goal of mine to become your valedictorian. When I stepped foot on this campus, I was committed to receiving the education necessary to reach my life goals. Being surrounded by a knowledgeable and fearless faculty gave me the tools to reach those goals, yet my hard work, not my intellect, has placed me in front of you tonight. One of my favorite characteristics about hard work is that everybody has the capacity for it. I've heard from too many of my friends that they cannot receive an IB diploma, that they aren't capable of earning straight A's. But I know for a fact that everyone, especially everybody gathered here tonight, is capable of putting in the hard work enough in pursuit of even the loftiest goal. It isn't a matter of becoming excellent at calculus, of mastering your research skills, of understanding the intricacies of oxidation reduction reactions. If you put in the hard work to write that essay or take the initiative to ask your teacher that question or stay after class to work with your partners to perfect a presentation, you will always come out on top. One of the most inspirational stories that comes to mind 
regarding the value of hard work and dedication is that of Elon Musk. As you may know, he is the CEO and founder of the world-changing companies Tesla, SpaceX, The Boring Company, and Neuralink. In order to be at the forefront of scientific discovery and consumer development, Musk is reported to have worked up to 100 hours per week, which is the equivalent of 20 hours per day. Now, I'm not saying Musk's relationship with work is healthy by any means, but I admire the dedication he has to his life goals. Why is Elon Musk so different from you or from me, then? He wasn't born the richest man in the world. No, he made himself the richest man in the world through his intense work ethic. And clearly, his hard work has paid off. So why won't ours? I've never considered myself to be an overtly productive person or a smart studier. In fact, one of the hardest challenges I faced throughout my high school journey was dealing with procrastination. To this day, I have not completely overcome this fault and it will likely haunt me in college, but I know I will always put my all into everything I do. As a perfectionist, I live strictly by the rule that I must be proud of all work I submit. I am, in fact, my worst critic and, most of the time, a glutton for punishment. This philosophy has especially rewarded me in TSA competition. My freshman year, I had an unforgettable conversation with our former TSA advisor, Mr. Alex Garcia, a month before the regional competition. I had signed up for Webmaster, which involves designing, coding, and deploying an entire website. The only problem? I had never designed a website. I remember Mr. Garcia told me, Johnny, you know we've made it to nationals many times for Webmaster. It was just a casual remark, but I went directly to my computer and began to put together the best website I could because I didn't want to turn in a product I didn't think was nationals worthy. Now, I didn't know much, but I followed as many YouTube programming tutorials as I could, pulled my first ever series of all-nighters, and ended up with a product that made it to state. During the interview I had with the judges about that site, they absolutely ridiculed the basic techniques I was able to implement. I remember one even told me it wasn't a website, but I still took that feedback to heart and spent hours completely rewriting the site, coming up with a product that managed to place fifth at, national competi at state competition and progress to nationals. I ended up with a site I never imagined I could develop, and a site I knew was nationals worthy. I didn't get there because I was a rock star developer or a brilliant coder. I knew nothing about web development. I got there because I worked as hard as I could and made an end product that met my incredibly high expectations. And this definitely paid off. Some of the fondest memories I have from high school are from that first TSA state competition in Fort Worth, Texas. I want to thank my mom, who has hands down my biggest support, both emotionally and academically, throughout my high school journey. She always shared this wisdom that I believe sums up my philosophy regarding education. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. She raised me with the idea that although my teachers can give me information, I must take the time and initiative to practice in order to succeed. And that was largely helpful while challenging IB and AP classes. I also want to thank my dad, who always allowed me to vent about the stresses that came naturally with being a perfectionist. He is one also. After my venting, he always gave me advice that greatly improved my mood and always pushed me forward. I want to remember some of the amazing teachers who might not be in the audience tonight, but definitely enabled me to get to where I am right now. I will never forget Miss Sweeney, who prepared me for my final high school years, drove home the inherent value in writing, and provided me with the honest feedback necessary for my success. Uh, and Miss Lefty, if you took AP World History, you'd agree she made the most difficult history class of our lives 
both approachable and enjoyable. I will also never forget Mr. Garcia, who showed me I had an aptitude for my biggest passion, computer science, and made my early years of TSA unforgettable. I also want to thank the World Scholars teachers that risked their lives during the COVID-19 pandemic and rose to unfathomable expectations to educate and enrich all of us during one of the most trying times in history. Personally, I need to thank Ms. Diaz, who worked tirelessly to allow my last year of TSA to not only happen, but be my best, most incredible year. Dr. Viadial, for pushing to establish one of the few high school student-driven podcasts in Texas and allowing me to leave my mark on Mayan Talk's legacy. And of course, Ms. Leonard Devi, for her undying passion to train us to think like mathematicians. History was written every single day, and I'm confident that you taught the world how education should work during a global pandemic. I speak for all my classmates when I say we are eternally grateful for the sacrifices you made to deliver an incredible educational experience, whether on Zoom or face-to-face, -face, or should I say, mask-to-mask. -mask. As I conclude this speech and my time in high school, I want to leave you all with this. I know how difficult these times have been, the losses we have all endured, but I want you to think about the positives, how working from home taught us to find creative ways to connect, how we sacrificed our sanity to protect our friends and family, how we came together virtually to continue to build a community and leave our mark on world scholars. Whenever I'm overwhelmed with all the bad in the world, I always reflect on this good in humanity. And I hope you will also as we begin our next chapter in these historical times. We are at a crossroads and we are capable of anything. When Elon Musk was at his crossroads, he chose dedication, he chose development, and he chose to change the world. But all of us already have a leg up on Elon Musk. Considering the world has taken more than anyone could imagine from our lives, we prevailed and triumphed. We are the class of 2021, the class that saw our campus transition to world scholars, that obtained IB diplomas having only attended one semester of in-person classes, and that has inspired generations to come with our resilience. And nobody can take that from us. Thank you. Again, please help me congratulate our World Scholars Class of 2021 Salutatorian Julia Rodriguez and our Valedictorian John Smith. <laughs> Julia and John, on behalf of the faculty and staff of South Texas World Scholars, it is my pleasure to present you this gift as a lasting reminder of your achievements as salutatorian and valedictorian of the graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, I will present our candidates for graduation. Will the graduating class of 2021 please 
rise. Dr. Lara, I present you the students, members of the STISD World Scholars Class of 2021. As principal of World Scholars, I certify that they have met all the graduation requirements of the Texas Education Agency and South Texas ISD World Scholars. I recommend that they receive their diplomas satisfying this accomplishment. Members of the Board of Education, parents, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to certify that the students about to be called have completed their course of study as required by the regulations of the State Board of Education and of South Texas Independent School District. I hereby authorize that a diploma in testimony of having met these requirements be issued to each candidate for graduation. Thank you, Dr. Lara. At this time, Assistant Principals, Mrs. Julia Ramirez and Mr. Eric Gutierrez will assist us in announcing the names of the graduates. Students, upon hearing your name, please step forward to receive your diploma. John Richard Smith from McAllen, valedictorian, summa cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Julia Elizabeth Rodriguez from Edinburgh, Salutatorian, summa cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending Brown University. <laughs> Jessica Joanna Aguas from Palmview, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Angel Aguila from FAR, distinguished, attending South Texas College. Gerardo Aguillon from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Adrian Antonio Alvarez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Rodolfo Israel Arvizu from Donna, distinguished, undecided. Dia Ayubi from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Ilana 
Itzel Asenet Baena Guzman from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Pedro Antonio Boone from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, diploma candidate, Baylor University. Santiago Carvajal Charleston from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending Northeastern University. Alejandra Yamilex Castillo from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice, National Honor Society, attending Sam Houston State University. Chiara Estefania Castro from Westlaco, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of California, Davis. Victoria Hermelinda Cervantes from Hidalgo, distinguished, attending Texas State University. Jose Sebastian Charles from Mission, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Ty Coley from McAllen, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Casey Arthur Collier from Donna, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Cameron Renee Contreras Esparza from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending St. Mary's University. Raul Cortez from McAllen, Cum laude, distinguished, attending South Texas Votech. Addison Elise De La Rosa from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending Texas A&M College Station. Joe Delgado from Brownsville, distinguished, undecided. Victoria Delgado from McAllen, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Eli Jacob Diaz from Edinburgh, Cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Johan Peterson Dye from McAllen, Cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Sofia Elizarraraz Moreno from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Elizabeth Nicole Elizondo from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, South Texas College. John Layton Escareño from Brownsville, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Erika Yasmin Franco from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Andrew Galvan from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. 
Jacqueline Lee L. Gallegos, Alam from Alamo, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Garcia from La Villa, magna cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Alondra Nicole Garcia from Westlaco, magna cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Lonnie Lee Garcia from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society attending St. Mary's University. Macarena Garcia from Hidalgo, Magna Cum Laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Sebastian Garcia from McAllen, Magna Cum Laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Sky Garcia from Edinburgh, Summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Anneli Garza from Edinburgh, Summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Armando Garza Jr. from Edinburgh, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Derek Anthony Gomez from Mission, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Mariana Clarissa Gomez Reyes from FAR, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending Bowdoin College. <laughs> Jennifer Jacqueline Gomez Lopez from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Isaac Victor Gonzalez from Monte Alto, cum laude, distinguished, undecided. Santiago Javier Gonzalez Franco from Edinburgh, distinguished, attending Texas Tech University. Victor Guajardo from Mission, Distinguished, attending the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley. Noah Caden Gutierrez from Edinburgh. Distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Noe Guzman Jr. from Ed Couch. Distinguished, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Luis Oscar Guzman Alaniz from McAllen, magna cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. <laughs> Tyler Danter Hammond from Harlingen, distinguished, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Casey Hernandez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Colora Colorado Boulder. Devin Israel Hernandez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Edgar Alexis Hernandez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley.
Yasmin Hernandez from Alamo, distinguished, attending the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley. Braulio Alberto Hernandez Cantu from Santa Rosa, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Janie Suset Herrera from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending Dallas Baptist University. Francisco Ibarra Gutierrez from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, University of Texas at San Antonio. Maximiliano Hasso from Mercedes, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Angelina Denis Jimenez from San Juan, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Christine Daniela Leal from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending Texas A&M College Station. <laughs> Crystal Monique Leal from San Juan, cum laude, distinguished, attending South Texas College. Christian Harley Lopez from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. David Lozano. Mariah Jolene Luevano from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, University of Texas, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Pamela Macias from Donna, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending South Texas College. Anushka Rebecca Mai from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Alejandro Saul Martinez from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, attending the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Adli Alexia Mata from Alamo, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jared Andrew Matamoros from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Everardo Iram Mesa from San Benito, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. John Alexander Molesby from Westlaco, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending St. Edwards University. Marcelo Emilio Montalvo from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Manuel Ricardo Moreno from Edinburgh, distinguished, joining workforce. Janae Nicole Moya from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley.
Osiel Ortega from Westlaco, magna cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Natalia Ozuna from Donna, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Rodolfo Padron from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished attending University Technical Institute. Chloe Janelle Pais from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Justin Pardo from Mission, cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, undecided. Lauren Raquel Patino from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Andre Pena from Mission, cum laude, Distinguished IB Diploma Candidate attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Michael Lee Angelo Perez from Edinburgh. Distinguished University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Sarah Perez from Mission, summa cum laude. Distinguished. IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Daniel Joel Porras from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Glenn Quesada from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, Distinguished, attending Texas Tech University. Nancy Elizabeth Ramirez from Edinburgh. Distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Cody Jacob Ramos from Monte Alto, magna cum laude. Distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jolene Reina from Mission, summa cum laude. Distinguished IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. San Juana Alyssa Reina from Mission, cum laude. Distinguished. IB Diploma Candidate, University of Texas at San Antonio. Edgar Rodriguez from San Juan, magna cum laude. Distinguished IB Diploma Candidate, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Evelyn Rodriguez from San Juan, magna cum laude. Distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Incarnate Ward. Mary Elizabeth Rodriguez from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Ricardo Adrian Rodriguez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Patricio Rojas from Mission, Magna cum laude, distinguished IB Diploma Candidate attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Erica Ruiz from San Juan, distinguished attending South Texas College. Gabriel Salazar from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished IB Diploma Candidate attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Gerardo S. Salazar from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Marco Alejandro Salinas from Edinburgh, 
summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Matthew Lee Salinas from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Patricia Salinas from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Diana Paola Salinas Tovar from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Aiden Lee Sanchez from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas at Austin. Emma Sanchez from McAllen, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jessica Michelle Santa Ana from Edinburgh, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Nicholas Robert Santiago from Mission, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas at Dallas. Mir Radman Seralaki from Edinburgh, distinguished, attending South Texas College. <laughs> Abigail May Solis from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas at Rio Grande Valley. Severo Solis from Edinburgh, distinguished, attending the Universal Technical Institute. Crystal Sarai Soto from Donna, magna cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. David Thomas from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, National Honor Society, attending Texas A&M College Station. Antonio Trad Abraham from McAllen, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Amy Ilian Trevino from Edinburgh, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Mario Trevino Tercero from Alton, magna cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Jessica Alexandra Valdez from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Pedro Joel Velasquez from Mission, distinguished, attending South Texas College. Carlo Chase Vento from Harlingen, magna cum laude, distinguished, IB Diploma Candidate, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Ezequiel Villegas from Alamo, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Savannah Lynn Wiegand from Edinburgh, distinguished, attending South Texas College. Larissa Ann Ivara from Edinburgh, summa cum laude, distinguished, IB diploma candidate, National Honor Society, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Benjamin Agapong Yaboa from Edinburgh, distinguished, universe, attending the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Julia Estefania Zaragoza Aguilar, from FAR, cum laude, distinguished, attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Luis Eduardo Garcia, from Mission, distinguished, attending South Texas College.
Thank you, Ms. Ramirez and Mr. Gutierrez. Graduates, will you please stand? At this time, please move your tassels from the right to the left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present the graduates of the class of 2021 of South Texas ISD World Scholars. seated. As we conclude tonight's graduation ceremony, I would like to again thank the parents, teachers, administration, graduates, and everyone who made this extraordinary journey a grand success. Remember that a strong educational foundation has been built within you. South Texas ISD World Scholars has prepared you for the new goals and the new challenges that await you. You are now ready to continue evolving into the best version of yourself. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Go forth on your new journeys and continue to pave the way for future world scholars lions to follow. Always work with dignity and pride, and always remember, we believe in you. The world is your oyster. Congratulations to each member of the South Texas ISD World Scholars Class of 2021 and their families. May you continue to experience great success in your future endeavors. Blessings.